Hey guys, what's up and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I will be showing you guys how I set up the enclosure for my newest addition to my pets, which are American green tree frogs, which I wanted for a few months, a few months already now. Actually, I'm not sure about really long time, but I couldn't find someone who sold them in my area because I, I don't really like getting pets shipped if I can avoid it. So I don't usually um, look for sellers far away from me. I always want to be able to pick them up. But my favorite reptile shop where I go to all the time for food and everything I need for my pets had them on display when I went there last time and um, so I started talking to the seller, to the owner of the shop and yeah, he sold them to me, three of them, which I'm really excited about. I also got a lot of advice from him how to keep them I mean, I've read a lot about them already because I've been wanting them for so long now, but he gave me some good advice that I did not know before. So I'm really happy that I got to talk to him. So I took them home on that day because I knew I had an enclosure that fits them at this stage they are in now. Um, I want to emphasize that this is not going to be their tank when they've grown up because they're really young right now. So they will grow like double the size they are now. And I didn't want to give them like a huge enclosure when they're young because they still have to find their food. And I think it's appropriate to have a little bit of a smaller enclosure for young animals and then upgrade them as they grow. So obviously I went ahead and cleaned the enclosure first. I don't remember what I had in there before, but yeah, I went ahead and completely cleaned it with sanitizer and all that. And um, I didn't film that part and actually I forgot to turn the camera on when I started adding the dirt but I remembered so you only missed a tiny part. So I added a fair layer of dirt, I ran out of dirt at some point so I could not add the amount of dirt that I would like to add. Um, I mean yeah frogs, most frogs do like a moist environment so you want to use something like dirt uh, to give them the moisture that they need. You can use moss obviously, I actually wanted to add moss, I even remember I took it out to add it and then I forgot to put it in. I had some couple pieces of background, like flat wood that I added to the back. I mean, it doesn't do much but um, I see the frogs actually sitting on that a lot so I'm pretty glad that I did that because at first I wasn't sure what to do with these pieces and they actually really enjoyed that I put them in the back there because they really sit on there fairly often. So of course I went ahead and put in the sticks the way I would like them to be, the way they looked the best and were most, I guess, efficient for the frogs to use. And I kind of put them in how I thought that it would look good. So I have a basic idea of where they will be going. Then specifically for this enclosure, I went into the shop and bought some plants. I washed them, obviously. I always wash all of my plants that I buy. I I don't know, that's just something I do. And I also go ahead and wash the um, roots. I don't know if you have to do that, but personally I always do that. I don't want anything on there that's harmful to my animals. So I wash everything and yeah, then I add the plants into the enclosure. Also, I added in some fake plants because I thought it was still a little empty with the real plants. So I wanted to add some stuff that will kind of frame the whole thing a bit more and added a couple of fake plants to the whole thing. I think the greener, the better. It looks the best and I feel like the, the animals also really like it. Now for a water dish, I used this quite flat, um, not really deep dish because these frogs actually aren't good swimmers they can't like full-on swim if you give them like a very deep bowl they could drown and you don't want that so it's not kind of like the type of frog that really swims they don't even have that skin between their toes so 
they they do go for a bath. They will sit in there sometimes, not often, but um, they want a big dish. And when I have a bigger enclosure for them, I want to do like half of the ground of the floor water, but then very, very uh, shallow, you know, so they can't drown. But they have a lot of water space because I know they do like that. For now, they do have a dish like this. So I think that's that's enough because I don't want to provide them with something that's deeper. Don't want to take that risk. So I gave it a spray down so it was nice and moist the way they like it. And then put in my frogs. So one of them tried jumping on a leaf further up but I guess she couldn't grab onto it so she fell. It looks pretty brutal. It's not though. She just fell a little bit but she's fine. And or he. I actually don't know the genders at this point. And also they are silent at the moment, they're still very young so they don't, they, they aren't noisy at all. But definitely later on they will be, um, so gotta look forward to that. But I managed to hold one, uh, you don't want to hold them with dry hands because they have that slimy layer on their skin and if you have dry hands you can actually hurt that slime layer and kind of like strip it off I guess. I don't know how to call it, but if you touch it, it can get stuck to your fingers and hurt your frog. So every time you want to touch your frog or hold your frog just for before that, um, give your hand a spray, dunk it in water, something that your hand is moist before you touch your frog. So that's where they're currently living. I think they're doing great. They're all eating fine. I they're, they're out. They're not hiding a lot. I can usually see all of them, which is awesome. I really enjoy watching them. They're very cute. I love when they're stuck to the, to the um, glass. I'm going to insert a picture of how cute it looks when their little feet are like underneath their bodies and they look adorable. Someone's driving by like constantly and I don't know what they're doing. But yeah, if you have any tips on how to keep these guys or any experience then please let me know because obviously these are my first frogs ever and I'm trying to do everything right uh, so far I think I'm doing good they're doing good so obviously they do have a heat lamp because it's winter where I'm from and it's quite cold so the temperatures wouldn't be appropriate without a heat lamp and um, yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video I hope you enjoyed it and I hope I see you here again soon